In this video, we're going to be looking at a more practical problem where we have a triangle. We know the length of the base of the triangle is 2 root 3 plus 5 centimetres. Uh, we don't know the height of the triangle, um, but we do know the triangle is a right angled triangle. We are told that the area of the triangle is 40 centimetres squared. And what we want to do is find x, and in that process we are going to rationalise the denominator. So, for the triangle, the area is half base times height. So, one half times by the base, 2 root 3 plus 5, times the height, x, is going to be equal to 40. Okay, so if I multiply both sides by 2 and then divide both sides by the 2 root 3 plus 5, what I'm going to get is that x is equal to now 80, because I've multiplied both sides by 2, all over 2 root 3 plus 5. Okay, so that's the value of x, but I don't want it in that format, I want the denominator to be rational. So I'm going to multiply both top and bottom by uh, 2 root 3 minus 5 over 2 root 3 minus 5. Okay? So in the previous examples that we've looked at, the sign has changed on the third. But if the terms are reversed and put in reverse order, it's just that middle sign that you're changing. So you, you can put minus 2 root 3 plus 5 here if you like. But it's more difficult to work with, and looks more inconvenient. So I'm going to multiply through. 80 times 2 root 3 is going to be 160 root 3. And then 80 times minus 5 will be minus 400. All over 2 root 3 times 2 root 3. So I've got 2 times 2 is 4. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. So I've got 4 times 3 is 12. I've got 2 root 3 times minus 5, and 2 root 3 times 5 will cancel each other out. And I've got the 5 times minus 5, which makes minus 25. Okay? So, what I have here is 160 root 3, take away 400, over 12 take away 25, which is minus 13. Now, if I divide top and bottom by minus 1, then I can write it like that, okay? So 400 minus 160 root 3 all over 13. And that is the format that we wanted x to be in. 